each and every. What's the difference? Well, they can at times be used without much difference in meaning. Like, you look more beautiful each time I see you. You look more beautiful every time I see you. There's almost no difference in meaning in these two sentences. But we do prefer to use each when we're thinking of people or things separately, as individual people or things. For example, read each sentence carefully. Read the individual sentences carefully. Each student studied hard for the exam. Here I'm thinking of the students as individuals. Every is more common when we're thinking of people or things together, as a group or as a collective. Every patient came from the same city. I'm thinking of the patients as a group. Every child got a present from Santa. Again, I'm thinking of the children as a group, not individual children. So the main difference is all to do with the way you think of something as individual things or as a group. But there are some more differences, and here are three more. When you're talking about two things, you have to use each. But when you're talking about three things or more, you can use each or every. For example, each shop on this street sells donuts. There might be two shops or more than two shops on the street that sell donuts. Every shop on this street sells donuts. There are definitely three or more shops on this street that sell donuts. Number two, each and every are normally used with singular nouns, but you can use each with plural nouns. However, it must be followed by of. Each of my students passed the test. Each of my books is a different color. But you cannot say every of my books is a different color. That's wrong. Instead, you need to say every one of my books is a different color. Finally, we do not use each with words like almost, nearly, and practically. You have to use every with these words, just like this. I study English almost every day. Nearly every student was late to class. She's broken practically every record at the Olympics. Okay, do you remember each rule? If not, go back and study every one of them again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.